How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I am going to answer a fitness question. If you struggle to gain full range of motion during heavy lifting or are dealing with any type of hip, lower back or knee pain, there's a chance you might have anterior pelvic tilt. But what exactly is anterior pelvic tilt and what can you do to correct it over time? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. The best way to explain anterior pelvic tilt is to pretend that there is a bucket of water inside your pelvis. When your pelvis is in a neutral position, the bucket will remain upright and no water will be spilled. When your pelvis is anteriorly tilted, water would hypothetically spill out of the bucket. But what causes your pelvis to tilt forward? There are four main muscle groups that play a significant role in pelvic tilt. Your hip flexors, hip extensors, spine flexors, and spine extensors. These muscles are all anchored to your pelvis and play tug of war with each other. When your form is poor during heavy lifting, or if you spend an excessive amount of time sitting, your hip flexors and spine extensor muscles tighten. As a result, these two muscles overpower your glute muscles and your spine flexors, which causes your pelvis to tilt forward. If your pelvis stays in this position for too long, you most certainly will be dealing with neck, hip, lower back, or knee pain, and various other dysfunctions down the road. But how can you tell if you have anterior pelvic tilt, and what can be done to correct it? Let's take a closer look. A little bit of anterior pelvic tilt is normal. But the best way to figure out really how much you have is to do a Thomas test. To do this, just sit on the edge of a table or another stable surface, grab both of your knees and lean back until your back is flat on the surface. If you need to extend your knee to touch the ground or your thigh can't even touch the table, chances are your psoas major is short and you have a fairly severe case of anterior pelvic tilt. There is no quick fix for this, but let me show you guys one of my favorite mobility circuits that I use to help keep my pelvis in a more neutral position. From a standing position, jump forward and land crouched and bring your feet back into a high plank. Take one foot and bring it as close to your hand as you can Twist and raise the corresponding hand to the sky. Drop your extended knee towards the ground and you should feel a deep stretch in both your hips. Hold for five to eight seconds and repeat on the other side. Once you're done that, return to your plank position and proceed to a downward facing dog. Hold for five to eight seconds and then slowly walk your hands back to your feet. Pause for five seconds and then bring yourself back to the top. I recommend performing this movement three to five times before and after a workout or supersetting this movement with a heavy deadlift or squat. This mobility circuit will help, but if you really want to see quick changes, limit the amount of time you spend sitting in a day, strengthen your core, and add a little extra static stretching to your spine extensors and hip flexors throughout the day. Even something as simple as being aware of your pelvic position could be enough to make an impact down the road. But how do you deal with anterior pelvic tilt? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.